probably sounding a bit raspy and a bit breathy. That's because I am under the weather. Yesterday, I went to the grocery store after work and then I immediately came home and just left the groceries on the table. Start taking medicine and just laid down and went to sleep. <laughs> because, listen, I'm, I feel completely, totally, and utterly yucky. So, I thought I would do a grocery haul. We'll start off there so I can show you some of the things that I got and what it'll be used for. And then, um, yeah, we'll take it from there. All right, let's do this. That's the difference when you're my baby. That's how it is when you're Nobody make me stop the world. If you watch my grocery hauls before, you already know about this bag right here. Um, it helps me to carry my groceries up the stairs. And so let's get right into it. The first thing that I got was some um, lemon juice. I keep lemon juice concentrate on deck because y'all know I put it in my crystal light. And I also use it for teas and stuff, especially when I'm under the weather. So I got this. I needed a strainer, and so I got this as well. And honestly, I'm going to be putting away these groceries as I haul them. And so let me do that now. I needed some more tea. I had like exhausted all of my tea supply, y'all. So I got some regular ginger, I got some lemon ginger, I got some green tea, and I think the green tea has ginger in it as well. Ginger is really good for when you are feeling under the weather, and I got some peppermint tea. I needed a little cup like this for a recipe that I'm making, and so I got this. I thought that it would be useful, especially because it has a pour spout on it. Also, like if you're trying to make pancakes and you're trying to use some sort of portion control in your pancakes, this could be useful. I, I just felt like this little utensil would be useful in my kitchen, period. Um, and so in the winter time to keep my skin hydrated because the winters here are really harsh and they dry my skin out. I use this Vaseline uh, healing jelly with cocoa butter. I love the way this smells. Mm. And also like, you can get uh, one that smells like baby powder as well, but I like the one with cocoa butter. I needed a grater, and so I got a grater. I needed some more plastic, uh, cutlery so I got so I wish I would have got more than this but they were running low at the store that I shop at if you follow me on Instagram my Instagram is at my underscore A-U-R-A -A underscore style then um, I posted a post of me making chicken soup on there that's what I'm going to be making I already have a rotisserie chicken in the refrigerator that I bought earlier this week and so the next ingredients are going to be for that. So I bought a bell pepper, I bought an onion, I bought some carrots, and I usually just get the carrots loose because I don't need but one or two for this recipe. I bought a couple of ribs of celery, and I bought a, a can of green beans. So when you're using canned vegetables in your soup, you want to make sure that you rinse them off before you put them in the soup so that uh, the, the liquid that's, that, that they're canned with doesn't overpower the soup. So that's just a tip. At my local store, they didn't have the big boxes of chicken broth. I think I got some in my cupboard. I hope I do. So I just bought these uh, cans, and so I hope they do the trick. But I bought like 
four to six cans of this chicken broth. And then last but not least, I bought some aloe juice. I bought different flavors. So this one is strawberry. I bought pineapple. And then I think I bought mango. So yeah. So that's it for my grocery haul. Um, usually I do a cooking tutorial on my Instagram. And so make sure that you are following me there. Even if I don't post a cooking tutorial because I'm under the weather, there are plenty of tutorials that you can follow for inspiration on what to cook. And in the, um, not the description box, but in the comment section or the, I guess it is the description of, uh, under the tutorial is the link to the subsequent grocery haul on YouTube so that you know what ingredients to buy. You can make your own grocery list. All right. Now I am getting ready to put all of these things up and start cooking. chopping all of that so I didn't it'll be all right but I also used the combination of fresh and uh, dried herbs so now I gotta get my chicken out of the refrigerator and I gotta cut that up and add it to the soup <laughs> Like no days off so you can go Frothy this time. Usually, I put a lot of vegetables in there, but it's pretty good or whatnot. I might put a little bit more meat in there, but this is how it's turning out so far. I put some uh, canned green beans in there as well. That's that chicken breast. And so now I'm just letting it simmer. And it'll be ready in about an hour or so. Again, I might put a little bit more chicken in there. We'll see. Sometimes motivation, like you don't wake up with motivation. You have to create motivation. And so I'm motivated today and I have to jump on things when I'm feeling most motivated because, uh, you know, I have been feeling unmotivated. And so today what we're going to do is put together this clothing rack. Y'all, in order to do the outfit hauls that I do for y'all, I have packages coming with lots and lots of options of looks. And I want to be more organized and I want to have something, uh, add something a little bit more to my little set over here. And so I wanted to do a clothing rack. Sometimes they, these, uh, I've assembled one before and the one that I've assembled already had a hex tool. A hex tool is that little L-shaped thing 
that comes in a lot of furniture items um, that you can uh, use to tighten a specific screw. But I have my tiny little screwdriver if, you know, I need it. It don't have but so many heads, so I'm hoping that it does that. So I gotta put that together. Then I gotta hang up some things that I wanna do uh, outfit hauls on and just, you know, we're gonna load her up. Then I think uh, I'm gonna make up some breakfast. And then we got another pair of boots that came. Um, they didn't have my name on the boots, but I'm the only one I think in the building, I hope I am, that ordered from that company. But let me talk about representation for a minute. So there's this term that's been floating around the zeitgeist on the internet, and it's called regular black. And so what happens when people get into an entertainment industry is they want to put their best foot forward. And I don't have anything against that. Baby, do you. But there are some of us out there that are regular. So let's take me for instance. I am a black woman that's average height. I'm about five foot four. I'm average weight. We're not gonna get into numbers there. You can look at me and tell that I have a body, but it's an average type body. Like there uh, is no cosmetic enhancements done to my body. You can even, you can, you know, you can look and tell. Um, I don't wear makeup every day. I've said it before on the channel, and I'll insert that here again. <clears throat> Excuse me. The reason why I don't wear makeup a lot is because I uh, don't see well. That's another thing, I wear glasses. And you know, a lot of people now are wearing glasses as a fashion sense. I wear glasses as a visual aid. If I were to take off my glasses, my vision will be impaired. So I have to wear glasses to see. Um, I rock a short haircut fade. It's been in different styles on the channel. It was blonde when I first started the channel, now it's red. I might go back to blonde again. I go back and forth. My natural hair color is salt and pepper gray, by the way. But in order to just uh, make the haircut pop, I usually put color in my hair. But I have worn my natural hair color before. Um, and so I'm just a regular black girl. And I think that, uh, I think that my channel is going to be an inspiration to other regular black girls like that, like me. Um, me being a regular black girl, everything that I have, I have to earn it. And I'm not saying that people who present themselves a certain way don't earn what they get, but I think that that goes double, triple, even 10 times for me, you know? Because sometimes regular black people, a lot of times actually, we're not put to the forefront in, in things, you know? We're not part of the mainstream when it comes to entertainment, you know? Um, and art affects life. So walking, as, walking through life as a regular black girl, it's a lot of times where people don't see me coming until I do something exceptional. So let's talk about the exceptional things that I've done in my life. I have a college degree. My college degree has afforded me opportunities in my professional realm that are exceptional. So I've been in uh, rooms where, um, that were kind of relegated to a certain type of person. But because of my work ethic and because of my college degree, I've been able to get into rooms uh, that were not meant for me. So that's exceptional. The third thing that's exceptional is now I live abroad. I have actually been flirting with the idea of uh, taking my social media presence to the next level. Uh, for a while, for years. <clears throat> but 
tell if I'm regular black and because I knew I was going to present my authentic self. Like, you know, I wasn't going to be extra until I felt like being extra. I was like, I struggled with, well, how am I going to stand out online? And when I moved abroad, I felt like that enhanced my niche to where that people would start to pay attention to somebody like me who's regular. I mean, it's just the way, the way the world is. You know, as you walk through life, you don't just pick up on the things that are overt. You start to pick up on things that's covert too. And you start to look at things that women, especially because I'm a woman, you start to look at things that women do to get attention. You start to look at things that people do to get attention. And um, it's been said time and time again, you know, as I look at videos about how to grow my channel, it's been said time and time again that people who are deemed conventionally attractive get more views because they are they cute. I know that I see a lot of attractive people online and they're doing well. And so I represent for the, the regular black women, the regular black women who, you know, are not always being conventionally attractive. I know within myself that I'm a beautiful woman, you know, and I'm not just beautiful for the way that I look. I'm beautiful because of the way that I am, period. But you know, in entertainment, there's a certain aesthetic that you have to give, even as a plus size woman, to be seen in the forefront. Comparison um, is the thief of joy, but we all do it. We all do it. You know, we, uh, comparison can get bad when it turns into jealousy, when it turns into envy, when it turns into self-doubt. You know, I don't compare myself in a way that lends to self-doubt. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about looking for inspiration um, and looking for the do's and the don'ts so that I can be successful. Like who is already out there doing what I'm doing so that I can glean from them and be successful. You know, I never want to uh, take myself to a place where I'm looking at somebody else and feeling insecure. If I feel my mind starting to go there, I do a really good job at telling myself but that's their lane. You're creating your own lane. And I do a really good job of reassuring myself. I also have people that care about me that reassure me as well. I also listen to podcasts. Uh, and, uh, and I'm very um, strategic about what I uh, view online that encourages me. So I'm really good at protecting myself in that way. So comparison for me, again, is just trying to glean off of somebody else and see what I can implement in my way. Being regular black uh, is who I am, you know? So you're not gonna always see me made up on this channel. I'm gonna present as my most authentic self with what I wanna share online. And my hope is that I inspire other regular black people too. You know, I think it is something to put in your best foot forward, but I don't always look cute all the time. No matter what my Instagram feed shows you, um, behind the scenes, I'm just a regular person. Okay, I'm stepping down off my soapbox. Well, I wish I had a handy person because I, listen, It's been so long. Okay, this is B. So I need like four of these. Let me move this out the way. One, two, three, and four. And then I need the two side pieces so that I do it. So you get the pole.
know when I'm accomplishing my goals, it makes me feel good on the inside. All right, so now, we need to do it on the other side, basically. And it's gonna be a bit easier because we already have the poles screwed in there. This sticker that says take off, I'm gonna um, put that kind of um, on the inside so you can't see it from the outside. This was Alright, so this is how my filming set is looking. I had to move a few things around so everything would fit. And this is the clothing rack in its entirety. It's pretty tall. Alright, so this is the right boot. And I have on leggings and socks, so which is good. And my socks are like a medium uh, thickness, but they're wool. All right, so let's see. Sometimes the issue that I have with wide calf boots is they don't make the uh, the foot bed area wide calf as well or wide width they just stick to the calves but with these socks on i was able to get them on pretty good and i'm able to wiggle my toes i don't know they may uh oh hold on this is like unzipped do y'all see this hold on let me turn to the side y'all see this like it's not even zipped up yet Usually, I can tell right away. Like, when I pull a, a boot on, I can tell right away if it's going to zip. All right, let's... Shoot, I might wear these to work tomorrow. They zip. And I got a little room on the side. That's crazy. Hey. All right. Let me um put on the other boot. So, this is the left boot. It's a contender. I got one more pair that should be coming within the next few days, the next five to seven days. And so we'll see. I, I typically like more of a, a, like if I'm doing boots, I'm going for a specific look and I like a more dressier boot. Um, but again, they didn't really have any dressy styles in my size, and I was, I was disappointed in that. Okay, I'm going to have to get another pair, I think, from the website. Ooh, okay. The love boots seem like it's fitting the same way. That's crazy. If I wanted to wear this style of boot with a skirt, I would really have to be uh, strategic about how I style it. I so like if you play up neutrals with these boots, I really do think that it would be cute. Like a cream sweater, a midi or a mini skirt in the same color brown as the boots, some chocolate brown tights and then the boots and then a nice handbag and a nice coat you could kind of dress these up okay um i'm in my kitchen i'm cooking i'm really meal prepping for the week so i'm making burgers they're turkey burgers and i'm gonna serve it on a wheat bun 
Um, which reminds me I need to get the toaster out. And so I have two pans going. Let me go ahead and take these burgers off before I before they dry out because that's not what I want to do. I basically get the burgers already pre-packaged and then I season them and then I put them on the stove to cook. And I have two pans going because I'm making eight burgers. Um, and you know, by the time I get done, they bun size. So if you're trying to watch your portions, like this is like about the size. You can't really see it. But this is about the size of the burger. It ain't no massive burger like a Whopper or anything like that. Or a water burger from uh, my Texas residence. So I done already made these uh, these uh, tomatoes. Because I like tomatoes on my burger. And so now I'm just going to cut some onions into slicing. Because I'm going to have some onions. I need to bring my trash can over here. And I'm going to turn my podcast back on and listen. When I'm having to do prep work or cook or clean, podcasts help me to get through that. Because I don't be wanting to do it half the time. But I need to maintain my lifestyle and have things organized. So, podcast. Why 